Hey there, welcome to or welcome back to No Pants Profits. My name is Richard. I'm coming to you today from Port St. Lucie, Florida. And a question a lot of you have had, I've done a road trip which I've done 2,417 miles in the past nine days. I'm on day 10. I've got one more stop, which is at the world famous Maikai. Uh, but I've done 2,417.4 miles. And people are wondering, how do I charge my EV? How, f how long does it take? And different things like that. I will tell you, the way I have been charging it recently is actually via Tesla superchargers. Now, those were not originally meant for this F-150 Lightning, but they've become a lot more useful for road trips. Uh, the Tesla superchargers, let's just put it like this, the Tesla superchargers are significantly more reliable than any other charging method. So I am on the Florida Turnpike, and I believe out here somewhere is a bunch of Tesla superchargers. I'm just looking for them. That's not going to be good if they're not here. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I overshot them. That's what I did. I overshot the Tesla superchargers, but the Tesla 300 feet, turn left. Okay. Turn left, then turn left. Oh, this is fun. But, um, yep, it says, so you see there's a sign that says EV. So we're going to follow that sign that says EV to the Tesla superchargers. I'm going to walk you through how this works, how the app works, and how ever turn left, then turn left. Okay. So we should have superchargers somewhere here. And my car is currently at 9%. My truck is currently at 9%, which it says is good for 16 miles of range. That's a, uh, yep, delivery vehicle, additional bus and RV parking. There's the Tesla superchargers. Again, we've got Tesla superchargers, and then we've also got ones for other electric vehicles. But what's cool is I can use both. So, unfortunately, the way this truck is set up, I have to park a little bit stupid to use the Tesla supercharger. Let's go over here. This is the, uh, the best place to park a little bit stupid. I have to actually jackknife and use two charging stalls in order to get this charger. So I've got to get really tight in because the Tesla's charge in the front, you know, the Tesla's charge in the front, but the, uh, in the back. So all the Tesla chargers back in, but I actually go in the front. And what I need is I need this little guy right here. So let me get out of the car and show you how this guy works. So what I do is I go into the app, I choose the location we're at, which is Port St. Lucie, Florida, Florida's Turnpike. I choose the charger number and I hit start charging. Once I do that, it wants me to attach the adapter and plug in. So I've got a space right here for the adapter. Plug that guy in. Then I take the Tesla cable, hope it's long enough, plug him there, and then that will start to turn blue if it's charging. And now it's charging. Now, the Tesla app will show me how fast it's charging. Once it initializes the charge, the Tesla app will show me how fast is charging here? 11 kilowatt hours. And it's like it's 34 cents per kilowatt hour. So the charging rate is 11 kilowatt hours. And you can hear it ramp up the power right there. Four cents so far. But that charging rate's gonna hopefully go up to hundreds of kilowatt hours. Come on. There we go, 147 kilowatt hours. So this battery is like 130 in the truck. So to completely fill it, It'll take about an hour up, 171 kilowatt hours. Now here's what I do. I go over into the Ford app, and the Ford app will tell me, unfortunately, because I'm driving a Ford, Tesla doesn't know how long it's gonna take to fully charge the truck. Ford knows it's gonna take uh, about an hour and 10 minutes because it's so low. Good news is I've gotta go ahead and I've gotta clean out all my junk from the truck. So an hour and 10 minutes is about what I need. It's actually coming down a little bit, but you'll see it is currently charging at 173 kilowatt hours there. It's charged me 83 cents so far. Well, we've gone up from 6%, I believe, to 10%. So I'm going to come back to you at the end of this charging session, and we'll see how that all went. But yeah, this is how I'm charging my truck along the entire route. So just about a half an hour later, we're up at 55%. 
$21.54. We've added 59 kilowatt hours, 30 minutes and 31 seconds. The question is, what does that mean for mileage? Remember, we had very limited mileage before. Now we have 145 miles. Now, realistically, here's what you're looking for in the, uh, in the charging space. You want to make sure that at your next destination, you have a charger. You don't always have to fill up, because guess what, sometimes, sometimes time is money. So as long as in my next destination I have a charger, which my next destination is 94 miles away, well, I've got 147 miles. Now, you always want to leave a little buffer, so I'll be okay at like 150. I'm going to leave it charging for a minute or two more, 147, 148. It's charging at a very, very high rate of speed. And then once it's done, we jump on the road and we get headed to our next location. Now we're headed back near home, but I'm giving myself a little bit extra, extra, a little bit extra, extra, I guess is the way to say it. Um, so that I can make it, uh, I can make it out tonight to the Maikai before I go home. So that's the, uh, that's the spectrum there is you want to make sure you have a little extra, extra for the extra, 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 extra. But yes, you can, with the right adapter, charge. There we go, 150. It's kind of where I wanted to be. You can actually charge a Ford, we push that to end it, at a Tesla charger. Now you just need to make sure at the end when you finish, you obviously want to take that adapter whoop, and take that off so you have it for the future. And just put that guy right there. Again, it's not the most convenient thing if the Tesla chargers are full because I'm taking up the wrong spot right now, but I'm gonna pull out right now and we should be good to go to make it back down to South Florida for our last leg of our little trip. And I wanna thank Elon for making it so that Fords can charge at Tesla chargers, even though it's not the most convenient thing in the world, but I, I try and not charge if a Tesla charger's full and this Tesla charger's filling up. So I, I'm going to instead get on the road. This is Richard from No Pants Profit saying, uh, yeah, on the road, pretty full Tesla station, so I don't want to stick around here because I got to charge in all kinds of weird ways just because of the layout of the station. See you back in the Fort Lauderdale area at the Maikai.